anybody who's done any powder cutting knows about the Fer Faraday cage. Uh, I use a Gima gun with the standard uh, Faraday cage area um, solution and I'll show you how that works. Right now there's just a flat piece. I'll show you how it works on a flat piece. And then there's my parts that have the Faraday cage. The Faraday cage is right in here between the pipe and the uh, flat piece. And you'll see it doesn't uh, take powder very easily. And what I have to do, I go ahead and switch to the factory preset on the Gima gun and it will uh, automatically take care of that Faraday, Faraday cage area. You can't get close to it or else uh, all the powder bounces back off. So I'll go ahead and show you this. Uh, I'm not going to have uh, any voiceover since uh, I'm not easy to listen to and I've got a fan going as well. But first of all, here's the uh, Gima gun and this is the setting that I'm going to be using for the flat piece and you can see the UA which is the amps micro amps is at 100 I'll press that again you can see it's 100 that's the bottom number once we go to the Faraday cage area which is this symbol right here you can see the micro amps are only 22 so that doesn't put as much electricity into the part so now we'll go ahead and shoot this flat piece and I'll let you see how it works on the flat piece with the 100 kVA and or 100 microamps and then we'll go ahead and switch to the 22 microamps and show you the Faraday cage solution The oven loses about um, 75 to 100 degrees when I put the part in. I'm now waiting for the oven to warm up to 400 degrees. Then I have to wait until the part gets up to uh, 400 degrees before I can start my time. So it's 400 degrees, uh, part metal temperature, and then uh, it's 10 minutes. I'm using Prismatic Powders Blackjack is what I uh, coat these with. Okay, the oven temperature is back up to 400 degrees, been like uh, about four minutes. Uh, let me go ahead and check the parts and see what temperature they're at. <clears throat> and I don't know whether this will show up all right, but it's 399.4 degree, degrees. So 
Um, I'll let it cook just a little bit and then we'll start our timer for 10 minutes. Time's up. Time to take the parts out of the oven. This is the part finished. See there's no area that is not powder coated. And you can see the powder coat finish on the airplane. And the powder coat finish. All the Faraday cage areas are filled in. And the Gima gun does make a nice smooth powder application. So that's it. I hope that uh, uh, you uh, enjoyed the uh, Faraday cage uh, solution. And I'll see you next time.